Dow Center in Tucson, Arizona after Penn State's 66-64 loss to Temple. Uh, this is Emily Kaplan, men's basketball reporter. Emily, uh, what are your general thoughts after the game? Uh, obviously a heartbreaking last second loss. I mean, it was really a definition of a heartbreaker. You know, Penn State had it in the last 16 seconds and then lost it right there. But the really heartwarming thing about it was I think going in the post-game locker room and seeing Jeff Brooks um, kind of smiling even though he went out of the game, didn't play at all. Maybe Taylor Battle even beyond his tears kind of talking about the legacy he's leaving for the younger guys and just them all knowing that they accomplished something the school hasn't accomplished in 10 years. Obviously a very melancholy mood in the locker room after such a loss, but you kind of expected them to take it worse than they did. Taylor was more upbeat than I thought. You know, obviously after the game he had his head down fighting back tears, walking off the court. But, um, you know, afterwards, I, I think he was proud. I think he knew what he accomplished at Penn State. His legacy, four years of really establishing Penn State, you know, getting to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 10 years. You know, there's something to be said for that. And, you know, Coach DeCellis, too, he was emotional in his press conference. So what do you think he was doing? I think he's just sad to see these four guys go and kind of the impact they had at the end on that move. Absolutely. They, they made their goal, they made it to the tournament, and you know, now they're going back to State College after putting together a pretty good effort after losing their, one of their best players, Jeff Brooks. Um, I'm Emily Kaplan, I'm Steve Hennessy, the sports editor, and thanks a lot for watching.